Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into the channel today. Have a seasonal guitar maintenance tip for you. Depending on where you live in the country, if you have great swings of humidity that you might want to make a second saddle for your guitar that you would change from spring into summer and then from fall into winter. Uh, I like the action on my guitars low because I do some kind of athletic kind of stuff on 12 string and I like to have an action that's a, a little bit low but I don't want it to be real buzzy or anything and so I've noticed depending on the, the climates I've lived in I have visited uh, 44 of the 50 states and I have uh, lived in several different states including Alaska, Virginia, Texas, Oklahoma, California, uh, North Carolina and certain areas of the country where the humidity stays pretty constant like in uh, the, the coastal areas of Virginia the humidity stays between 50 and 90 percent almost all the time so humidifying a guitar is usually not a big deal uh, in a normal house where you're, where you're living and cooking and showering and bathing and uh, you got people living there and we're exhaling water vapor as part of our, our, our breath and everything, your home will normally stay 45 to 50 percent unless you live in a really desert climate or something. And then you have to look at actually having humidifiers for your guitars. If you have a lot of guitars like I do, you might want to have a, a, a humidifier in your room. But one thing that I have noticed is that seasonally that the action on the guitars will change. Uh, your flat top guitar isn't actually perfectly flat. There is a slight little arch to it. It's barely visible. This is something called crowning. Uh, in, in piano construction, for example, one of the things that piano companies will do is they will dry out the soundboard, which is made of the same stuff as most guitar uh, soundboards, spruce, it's just much thicker on a piano. And what they will do is they will uh, kiln dry that down to its like really low humidity content. Then they will mate that soundboard to the harp, which is that big brass harp inside the piano. And then when they bolt that thing down, what they do when they bring that out into actual uh, normal atmospheric humidity, the, uh, the wood swells a little bit and it creates a slight little arch in there. It's barely barely perceptible. You wouldn't see it with your eye. You'd have to measure it with calipers or something. But the uh, that that slight little crowning is what they call that actually gives the soundboard more projection, a better resonance. And so a similar kind of thing happens with guitars. Uh, guitars, the, the woods are dried in kilns and they're seasoned. The more expensive guitars, the woods are seasoned for five years, 10 years, 20 years, uh, 50 years. <laughs> it, it just depends on the manufacturer and what kind of wood supplies they've got and the price of the guitar. But on a nice guitar, basically they follow a similar kind of pattern. The woods are dried, they're assembled, and then when you go into regular atmospheric uh, conditions, it's going to belly up just a little bit. And bellying, what I'm talking about that is that the area underneath the bridge is gonna have a very slight arch to it. Now, I'm not talking about like, pulling forward of the bridge or the tension or anything like that on the guitar but basically when you get the guitar under tension there's going to be a slight little arch to the top of the guitar it's not perfectly flat and so that that is called crowning now depending on your environment in the summertime if it's very humid like it is where i live i live in oklahoma it gets pretty humid here even in an air-conditioned room uh, the, the guitar will have a little bit of swelling and the, the action of the guitar will actually go up some. In the winter months, when it's super, super dry here in Oklahoma, I was also the same way when I lived in Alaska, in, in those Arctic climates or northern climates, when you have ice and snow most of the year, a lot of the available water vapor in the atmosphere ends up turning into ice and stays on the ground until it evaporates and goes back into the atmosphere. So even though there's a ton of snow on the ground, the air is really very dry. And so your, what will happen is that crowning will reduce a little bit and your action will lower some. And you may end up with some uh, with a guitar where the frets will buzz. You get to January through February and you will notice that, wow, that action is really low on that string. Your E string may buzz a little bit up on the higher frets. And one of the things I found useful to do if you live in a climate like that is to make a winter and a summer saddle. And this is right here. I just Today I just did a string change on my Guild and I don't know if you can see this or not, this is my uh, Tusk saddle that I made uh, last fall when I got this guitar. And this is my winter saddle. 
And so I basically, this one is a slight bit uh, taller than the regular saddle that came with the guitar. In the summer months, I keep the saddle that came with it. It works fine, it's set up really good. I have the action really low. I like my neck almost perfectly straight with no relief in it. Uh, and uh, this allows me to basically keep my action really low seasonally without having to fight the guitar too much. So today I did a string change and I swapped out uh, my winter saddle for the summer saddle. I've got the summer saddle in. Now when it starts getting around December, January, I'll start noticing this guitar. I'll start getting some buzzing up on these bass notes here and up here on the the first couple of strings. When I start noticing that, then I will do a string change and I will swap out the saddles. It's a quick, easy way to keep your guitar playing in optimal condition. Uh, out of the 20 plus guitars I've got, do I do that with all of them? No, but the ones that I play really aggressively, I do. And this was one of the ones that I uh, play quite aggressively. Uh, the ones that I've got that are really light action, uh, I seem to notice it a little bit less. Solid tops, make more of a difference than a guitar with a laminated top. With a laminated top, you may not get uh, much shifting at all, but the, the solid tops are more, are more lively, and Alpine spruce seems to be a little bit more lively than the Sitka spruce. Sitka spruce seems to be a little bit stiffer. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just my own impression on it. Electric guitars, you won't have this happen at all uh, because you're going through you know metal bridge saddles and, and those kind of things. That's not, if you play an arch top guitar, you might notice it a little bit and then you just take the little wheels there over the feet of your arch top bridge and you can adjust it. But electric guitars really don't need to do that because they're not gonna shift having a metal bridge like a Strat bridge or like a, uh, like a tunematic bridge like you'd have on a Gibson style guitar. Uh, banjos and other instruments, you may notice a little bit of a shift with the head and you can adjust that with the head tension. So I'll go ahead and wrap up. This is uh, my summer string change and uh, bridge change. Uh, and uh, this, will, this guitar is gonna be good up until winter rolls around again. So that's just an idea to keep in mind. If you have any tips that you do seasonally on your guitars, uh, whether for humidification or action adjustments, truss rod adjustments, things that, that you might do along that line, uh, put them in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks again for watching. Bye.